Hey, 10th family, this is Isaac, uh, reporting from Chase Farm. So we figured we'd do a little tour of the camp and uh, explain how the British Army camped when uh, not on campaign, um, though there are some campaigners out here as well. So we'll give you a quick tour and explain what the different tents and different flags and things mean in tent camp. So starting off, uh, this is actually our regimental color here. So the regimental color, uh, every regiment had one. Um, they were different for every regiment, and it was how a commander could identify a regiment on the field of battle. It was all the smoke. Um, behind us here, here we have the King's Colors. Each regiment had their own King's Colors as well. This represented the overall uh, sovereignty of England. The King and the other British regiments. All right, so both these flags are displayed in front of the Marquis, the commander's Marquis. Uh, the Marquis was a tent that was reserved specifically for officers. It was very large, uh, had a lot of weather vanes uh, coming off of it, holding it up. There was a lot of ornament. Uh, inside, you would have one officer as opposed to the six enlisted men in a regular wedge tent. Um, on top, we have, again, two other regimental flags as well. Next we have wall tents. These were tents also reserved for officers. Generally officers of the lower rank, captains, lieutenants, etc. Slightly smaller than the marquee, not as ornamented. Um, but again, very large and generally only one to two uh, soldiers, officers will be staying there. So here we have the enlisted men's tents. Uh, they would have typically housed actually six soldiers in each of them, uh, stacked one against each other. This is to maximize space. Um, the tent, uh, well, this one has a bed in it because the enlisted men were so close together, generally would just have a blanket on the ground um, and the men would be packed in. Behind me we have the kitchen fly. The kitchen fly was where soldiers went to eat, cook, and in general just socialize with each other. Um, this was generally only where enlisted men ate and socialized as opposed to the officers who had their own officers mess where the food was of higher quality um, and uh, the meals were a lot fancier. So in front we have the smaller kitchen fly. And behind that is the larger kitchen fly, and farther behind that is the storage for uh, where we kept all of our food.